driving first thing, normal thing is always we've got our six point belts and then as you can see on this one it has the, the jack to connect so I can hear my navigator. So that's usually the first thing we do. Step one, just to check that we can hear each other so that when we go on stage it's, it's very clear and then on the side of my seat we can adjust the volume so that we make sure we're in sync. So typically before I start a stage is to put the car in stage mode. So it has a special mode called stage where it now gives you more power and then there's the anti-lag settings. So how much the turbo spools before you can accelerate. So we have three different settings which you can calibrate on the steering wheel and then to activate the stage mode and then there's a special launch mode. So when we're taking off at the start, three, two, one, you just hold it down, you'll see an L come up on the screen and then we pull away. So that's usually the basics. The rest of the things on the page, on the screen, we don't really use when we're driving. It's more so to check how much fuel you have, your temperatures, stuff like that. And pull again. So the first one is the gear lever. So all that I do, I don't have to use the clutch when I'm shifting the gear. You just pull it, it automatically cuts out the throttle and engages the next gear whilst my foot is still flat on the floor and then engages the next gear. So I pull it towards me to go up the gears. One, two, three, four, we have five gears. And then when I want to go down the gears, I push it now farther away from me, like that. So that's how we do the gears. And again, you don't need the clutch. So it's, it's a sequential gearbox, semi-automatic. So I only need the clutch when I'm starting and stopping or doing a handbrake turn. So pull, push, and then this right here is my handbrake. So if I ever want to do a handbrake, probably start turning and then pull it all the way. It locks the wheels, helps me rotate, and then just release. Right down here we have the fire extinguisher. So right now it's not armed, but when we start the stage, it has to be armed. So in case there's a fire inside where, where the engine is or behind the fuel, but the fuel tank is built very safely to avoid that that we just press the emergency button and within a split second the whole car, the fire will be put out. The spare tire, the first one sits here, no, yeah, first one sits here, then the second one lies from here to here, there's usually a rest, so it sits here, then this is our jack, you just remove it from here, there's a safe whatever thing, so it, it won't move, so just go to wherever you want to lift and then we actually have a wheel gun over here, it's not there. In case we stop, we have the okay signs to display if you're fine or if you need help. Um, yeah, generally. 